Hello, everybody. My name is Riley Dickens, and I'm a consultant at Encryption Consulting. Encryption Consulting covers all the aspects of security concerns, such as data security, key management, and data privacy. Today, we'll be taking a look at Microsoft Azure's encryption of data at rest. To begin, we'll start with the introduction. Microsoft Azure is among the most well-known cloud service providers in the market. Protection of customer data stored within Azure services is of paramount importance to Microsoft. Azure provides various data protection tools that lets its users encrypt data at rest or implement a custom key management solution. In the next few slides, we'll cover Azure's approach to data encryption at rest and its purpose. We'll also cover the tools that Azure uses for encryption at rest. We'll learn about the available encryption mechanisms and various applicable encryption keys and how they're managed. We'll also briefly touch on access control. Let's discuss why encryption of data at rest is done. The reason for data at rest encryption is to securely encode confidential data. Additionally, data encryption at rest is a mandatory security control as per various government regulations, such as HIPAA, PCI, or FedRAMP. Azure's approach is FIPS 140-2 validated due to its use of symmetric encryption to encrypt and decrypt large amounts of data quickly. It's important to note that at rest data can be exploited either by accessing physical hardware devices or by establishing remote access unless the data is encrypted. However, even encrypted data can be exploited if encryption keys are exposed. Microsoft Azure provides comprehensive facilities physical security, data access control, and auditing, and also overlapping security measures that make it fail safe. This means that if one measure fails, it still operates with the remaining controls. Microsoft Azure incorporates and stores two types of keys for encryption. First is data encryption keys. These keys are stored locally for faster access and are utilized to encrypt blocks of data. A single resource may have many partitions and many data encryption keys. DEKs can be replaced very easily and it only affects a small block of data at a time. The other type of key is a key encryption key or KEK. These keys never leave the key vault and are used to encrypt DEKs through a method known as envelope encryption. Deletion of a KEK also deletes the associated DEK. Only authorized users have access to KEK. This can be managed using the key vault. Azure provides secure key creation, storage, access control, and management for encryption keys. For access control, Microsoft uses Active Directories. Only authorized users get added to the Active Directory. Since the Active Directory is hierarchical, it allows implementing and managing varying access levels for different users. Access to Azure Key Vault is also established using Active Directory. There are numerous benefits to using Azure's cloud service where data encryption at rest is concerned. It enables its software, platform, and infrastructure as a service customers to encrypt data at rest on any of Azure hosted services. For example, infrastructure as a service users can encrypt VMs and disks through Azure Disk Encryption. It also supports service managed keys, customer managed keys, server side encryption, and client side encryption. Service managed keys are used to encrypt all managed disks, snapshots, and images using storage service encryption. Customer managed keys could be used to encrypt blob storage, queue storage, or table storage. Server side and client side encryption can be applied based on the requirement and level of confidential data exposed. Microsoft also provides many other features for encryption at rest, such as transparent data encryption and the always encrypted feature. With Azure's tremendous market growth, Azure services are broadly enhancing encryption at rest availability. This concludes our video for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe below. Contact us at encryptionconsulting.com if any confusion arises or if you simply want more details. Thank you.